Right folks, look. I just got through that gate in time. Look, they, this lot came charging across. Can you imagine if I just come down then? I just... Yeah, one of them. They were nowhere to be seen and suddenly they started running across. Here's one running now. Hello, how are you doing? Good job I might missed you, wasn't it? I just got through the gate. Now if I'd gone off straight away, I stopped to get my banana out of a drink of water. If I'd just gone straight on, I would have missed these coming by like this. I wondered if there were any strays. You can see how big they are folks, can't you? And they can run if they want. Right over now, I just thought I'd take a little picture of them. Because I've just literally walked across there to that gate. And they were right what I thought was quite a way off. And off they go into the distance. Here's one running now. Look, he wants to be up front. I could have come down the track here, see, as well. I've done it all. I've been right up the top there and down through the Christmas trees. They're trying to catch up with the rest of the herd, see? Strays. Wow, now that was interesting. That was very interesting. If I had not stopped to get my pet lunch out, right, I would have missed all that. Some more coming. Some more coming, they'll start running in a minute, those ones coming from down there they got like horns but it looks like the tips of the horns have been um look see that there they come look at that they're running to catch up with the rest quite would have scared the life out of me if I'd seen them and I was I was only over there coming across They, want to, they don't want to be behind for the rest of the herd, see? They're going to go right past me in a minute. I only just spotted them coming out. They suddenly, these animals can suddenly appear from nowhere, you know. Come on then, you're going to miss the others. They're gone, oh, there's some more coming. God, that was bloody lucky, you know, what I've just done. There's two more coming. And I, I don't know, they've got all, it, that one, they've got all their bits as well, you know, they haven't been neutered, these are proper bulls. But they must have some sort of calmness in them. Well, he ain't got any horns, that one. He must have some calmness in them. Off you go, we'll go find your family. <laughs> eh? Off you go. Oh, you're lovely, aren't you? Great big things. Bye bye then. There's some more coming up. They seem to go in pairs, don't they, as well? I'll just zoom into those two in a minute. This is the wildlife. This is like being on safari with Sheila and on, the, on the Mendip Hills, look. Safari with Sheila. Oh, that was a lucky, God, that was so lucky, in more ways than one, that I decided to come over from over there, towards this gate, in fact I came from over there somewhere, hello, look they've stopped to look at me, now imagine if I was out in the open, right out in the open and they stopped and looked at me like that, I'd be petrified. One of them's looking, he's only got one horn. Hello, cool, come on, get up the top, and meet your family. On safari with Sheena, come on. Look at the size here, I wouldn't really want to pass you, just in case. Bye then, bye, Mooers. 
They're quiet, aren't they? They look so placid as well, don't they? Right, we're back to... I haven't left the gate yet, folks. I don't know if I can see any more. Looks like uh, I could have... If I'd just gone straight down that path then, I would have missed them. It's gorgeous out here though, isn't it? And I've seen the ponies. I walked amongst the ponies, trying not to show any fear whatsoever, feeling confident when I did it. Now shut that gate, Sheila. Very firm, is it? Doesn't shut very well, do it. Bloody cow could push that open. Right then, folks, I'm going to keep the camera rolling now. Some lovely shade there. Right, here we go then. That was nice, wasn't it, to see the cows? I don't mind seeing them when I'm this side. <laughs> There. Now, if my memory serves me well, this track would take me down close to the other gate. Right? And then not far from there, I would turn left, go a little way past the poster, which talks about the mountain bikes and the trails. Then I will go right and then left to our lovely, lovely new track for me that I looked at last week. It's checking it's rolling. Yeah, it's rolling. And here we got a lovely Christmas tree. See them? They look like they're about to go into flower or bud or something as well. Yeah, they've got all new leaves coming out. Look. Yes, I'm walking amongst the Christmas trees now, folks. It's a lovely scene, isn't it? It's gorgeous. That's what I mean, sometimes you have to come out, do shorter walks, but do a bit more exploring. I just heard an owl then. It's funny, you don't expect an owl, do you, in the daytime? Yeah, so here we go. I did see somebody with a dog further down. That might be turning up at that gate as well. Yeah, so we carry on down here till we get to the gate. Or near the gate, put it that way. We're nearly there actually, we're nearly there. It's not a very long track. I, sp I spotted it the other day, it's not very far long just to nip up here. Now being aware that all oh, those cows are out. I've actually passed those cows within feet when they've all been sat down, chewing the cud. They're bulls, I think. I've actually walked, with holding on to myself with fear, I've actually walked past them when they've been on the main track and they didn't bat an eyelid at me. They didn't bat an eyelid. So when I talk about cows, folks, I do like cows. I do like them. And, uh, but I do respect them and give them plenty of space. And they respect me, see? Right, over and out, and you take right, folks. I've just come down there from the smaller gate back to a place I was a week ago, going through that big gate and up over the area of outstanding natural beauty. And here we have it, folks. We've just passed the poster, the plaque, and there is more green, even in a week. And here we are, here is the new track. There's a pole there, just to give you a bit of a reference point. 
here is the new track. I would say it's blossomed quite a lot. I'll be able to compare. But don't forget I lost a whole... Well, not 64 gigabytes. I lost the whole day's walk that I'd done with Sony that day. All of it. There was a lot missing the, uh, on the Kodak. Sony... Fortunately, Sony did capture quite a bit. But there was a lot missing um, of the rest of the walk, of photographs that I'd taken. Um, I can see the red netting through there that I've got to pass in a minute. So, But if you come along here and you just look over there at that beauty, you don't always see the hidden tracks. The same in there. You don't always see the hidden tracks. And of course, you can go on down there which is like a parallel route to the one I'm going to, they all join up at different points. You can always get out because they, for, for safety fire reasons, they divide the, the trees into plots with gaps. See, look, there's a big avenue down through there, look. So there we go, just up there a bit. It's sometimes good to come back quite soon so that it all gels in your mind. I'm just videoing as much as I can because guess what? Sony is very close to ending. So I just want to stop again for a minute and go and pass that net in there. Okay? Just want to take a picture of this scene and then I need to get the charger ready. Isn't that gorgeous everyone though, isn't it? Over and out a minute.